transmitted to subscribers. All the subsequent changes on the publisher are stored in distribution database. Subscriber receives the data either using push or pull mechanism as configured from distribution database. Question 3. What are different replication agents? Answer. Snapshot agent, log reader agent, distribution agent, merge agent, queues reader agent. Question 4. Does a specific recovery model need to be used for a replicated database? Answer. Replication is not dependent on any particular recovery model. A database can participate in replication whether it is in simple, bulk logged, or full. However, how data is tracked for replication depends on the type of replication used. Question 5. What type of locking occurs during the snapshot generation? Answer. Locking depends on the type of replication used. In snapshot replication, the snapshot agent locks the object during the entire snapshot generation process. In transactional replication, locks are acquired initially for a very brief time and then released. Normal operations on a database can continue after that. In merge replication, no locks are acquired during the snapshot generation process. Question 6. What options are there to delete rows on the publisher and not on the subscriber? Answer. One option is to replicate stored procedure execution instead of the actual delete command. You can create two different versions of the stored procedures, one on the publisher that does the delete and the other on the subscriber that does not do the delete. Another option is to not replicate delete commands. Question 7. Is it possible to run multiple publications and different type of publications from the same distribution database? Answer. Yes, this can be done and there are no restrictions on the number or types of publications that can use the same distribution database. One thing to note though is that all publications from a publisher must use the same distributor and distribution database. Question 8. Data is not being delivered to subscribers, what can be the possible reasons? Answer. There are a number of possible causes for data not being delivered to subscribers. The table is filtered, and there are no changes to deliver to a given subscriber. One or more agents are not running or are failing with an error. Data is deleted by a trigger, or a trigger includes a rollback statement. A transnational subscription was initialized without a snapshot, and changes have occurred on the publisher since the publication was created. Created. Replication of stored procedure execution for a transnational publication produces different results at the subscriber. The insert stored procedure used by a transnational article includes a condition that is not met. Data is deleted by a user, a replication script, or another application. Question 9. Explain what stored procedure SP underscore REPL counters is used for. Answer. SP underscore REPL counters is a system stored procedure that returns information about the transaction rate, latency, and first and last log sequence number LSN for each publication on a server. This is run on the publishing server. Running this stored procedure on a server that is acting as the distributor or subscribing to publications from another server will not return any data. Question 10. How will you monitor replication latency in transaction replication? Answer. Tracer tokens were introduced with SQL Server 2005 transnational replication as a way to monitor the latency of delivering transactions from the publisher to the distributor and from the distributor to the subscribers. For details, please refer tip to this tip, monitor SQL Server replication latency using Tracer tokens.